Okay, let's make a new circuit. So click create new circuit. So on your right will be the uh, components. All you need to do is to search for the component that you need. So just type the name of the component. In this case, we'll, uh, we'll use an Arduino board. So type Arduino. So there is the board. Just click and drag. And then we'll use we will need an LED and a resistor. So we already have those. You don't need to search. So just click and drag. You can actually change the color of the LED. And then it has set the resistance of the resistor to 220 ohms. Remember that the voltage coming from the board will be 5 volts. So we need to change the voltage down to a safer level so that the LED will not get damaged because the LED is operating on a lower voltage. So in the meantime, just, let's just set it to 220 ohms. For more details about resistors, just review your lessons in electronics so this is the anode or the positive leg of the led this is the cathode or the negative leg of the led so let's connect the cathode to ground let's connect the anode to the resistor and let's connect the resistor to a pin a digital pin and we will use that pin to power the LED through the resistor. So let's open the code, the code window. Let's change from blocks to text. I'll erase everything. Let's start from scratch. Remember that we have two main sections. We have the setup. and loop so everything that you need to do and everything or anything that needs to happen before anything else should be placed under setup or inside setup and since you are using pin number 13 to send a signal we have to set it to output so we use pin mode specify the name or the number of the pin number 13 then let's set it to output then here we'll make the LED blink by sending power to it so digital right means that we are going to send the uh, maximum value that we can actually send which is 5 volts to number 13 And set it by setting it to high. And then let's do a delay so that we can actually see the LED light up. Uh, just pause for 100 milliseconds or one tenth of a second before switching it off. Digital right 13. By setting it to low, we are removing the signal. By setting it below and before it does anything again let's wait for 900 milliseconds or 9 tenths of a second before it goes back to this line so this will be performed followed by this by this by this and since this is a loop since there's no more statement that should happen after this line it should go back to the very beginning so let's click 
start simulation. So they should blink one tenth of a second. There. So before it blinks again, it has to wait for one second. So every one second, it blinks for one tenth of a second. There. So stop. We'll make changes to uh, find out more how or what else can you do with, with this setup. But basically, that's how you send a signal out.